So, how did I go from a parent who was crying almost every day, wondering how on earth we were going to free ourselves from the OCD monster, to living my life again and being able to go on nice walks like this, feeling nice and calm and having life normal again? Well, first of all, we were lucky enough to get the help of CAMS, which is a, a free service in the UK. Long waiting list for it, but when you do actually finally get the access to them, they're brilliant. We came up with a plan on how to tackle it through ERP therapy. I stayed focused and consistent with the plan, even on days when it was tough and there's times when your teenager is not going to want to do the therapy, but I stuck to the plan because I could see that it was working. It wasn't an easy fix, it wasn't a quick fix, but if you stay consistent with the plan, it does work. And then I just kept a lookout for any new themes creeping in as well to make sure that we didn't end up back in the nightmare we started in. Um, I'm aware that lots of people now are on long waiting lists for CAMS and that's why I've decided to put everything I learned during the, over the four years I helped support my daughter free herself from the OCD monster and I've put it into a digital handbook. It comes in the form of a PDF and it's called The Parenting OCD in Teens and Tweens. If you'd like details about the handbook, just send me a message and I'll happily give you the link so that it can help you to free yourself from the OCD monster.